Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are going to discuss RRB Lab Superintendent Previous Question Paper 2019. We have already discussed many questions in the channel. You can watch it from the playlist. And if you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe the channel. Question number 1. When drawing blood from a patient, which is a key consideration to avoid pre-analytical errors? Option 1. Draw the correct volume of blood. Option 2. Mix the tube containing anticoagulants immediately after specimen collection. Option 3. Allow at least 20 minutes for blood clotting to get serum. Option D. All of the above. The right answer is option D. All of the above. All of the following statements are important to avoid pre-analytical errors when drawing blood from a patient. Question number 2. Which sample is not suitable for electrolyte analysis? Option 1. Hemolyzed sample. Option 2. Serum sample. Option 3. Whole blood with heparin. Option 4. Arterial blood. The right answer is option 1. Hemolyzed sample. Hemolyzed sample is not suitable for electrolyte analysis. Question number 3. Which is the best choice of automatic analyzers? Option 1. Continuous flow analyzer. Option 2. Random access analyzer. Option 3. Semi-auto analyzer. Option 4. Batch analysis. The right answer is option 2. Random access analyzer. Next one. The disinfectant commonly applied on the site of blood collection is option 1 70% ethanol option 2 acetone option 3 hydrochloric acid option 4 sodium carbonate the right answer is option 1 70% ethanol question number 5 Synovial fluid is collected from option 1 joints, option 2 pericardium, option 3 pleural cavity, option 4 abdomen. The right answer is option 1 joints. Synovial fluid is collected from joints. Question number 6. Which one of the following does not include routine liver function test? Option 1. Bilirubin. Option 2. Bile acids. Option 3. SGOT. Option 4. Alkaline phosphatase. The right answer is option 2. Bile acids. Bile acids is not included in routine liver function test. Question number 7. The reagent used in the estimation of bilirubin is option 1. Peroxide reagent. Option 2. Urease reagent, option 3, diazo reagent, option 4, methylene blue reagent. The right answer is option 3, diazo reagent. Diazo reagent is used in Malloy and Evelyn method for bilirubin estimation. Next question, hormone assays using immunoassay techniques requires all except option 1, serum sample, option 2, Calibrators, option 3, washing solution, option D, or option 4, tap water. The right answer is option 4, tap water. Tap water is not used for hormone assays. Next question, which one of the following tests does not form part of the glucose tolerance test? Option 1, fasting blood glucose. Option 2, blood urea. Option 3, 1 hour blood glucose. Option 4, urine reducing sugar. Which one of the following test does not form part of glucose tolerance test? The right answer is option 2, blood urea. Question number 10. Uniced blood samples taken for blood gas analysis should be analyzed within. Option 1, within 1 hour. Option 2 within 30 minutes. Option 3 within 2 hours. Option 4 within 45 minutes. The right answer is option 2 
30 minutes within 30 minutes analyzed blood samples taken for abg should be analyzed within 30 minutes question number 11 acid phosphatase estimation is done in the disease related to option 1 thyroid option 2 brain option 3 prostate option 4 intestine right answer is option 3 prostate acid phosphatase or acp estimation is related to prostate Question number 12. Cerebrospinal fluid samples are collected by option 1 lab technician, option 2 physician, option 3 staff nurse and option D ward boy. The right answer is option 2 physician. CSF is collected by lumbar puncture and lumbar puncture is done by physician. Question number 13. The normal level of reticulocytes in adult is option 1 5 to 6 percentage, option 2 0.5 to 2.5 percentage, option 3 2 to 4 percentage, option 4 4 to 5 percentage. The right answer is option 2 0.5 to 2.5 percentage. Normal Level of reticulocyte in adult is 0.5 to 2.5 percentage. Next question. The normal range of packed cell volume or PCV is option 1 25 to 30 percentage, option 2 20 to 25 percentage, option 3 45 to 65 percentage, option 4 35 to 48 percentage. Normal values of different laboratory tests are uploaded in the channel. You can search for normal values in MLT question world. The normal value of PCV is not given here. So, the question is dropped for the evaluation due to no answer key by RRB. The right answer for PCV is 40 to 50 percentage. Question number 15. Simultaneous presence of anemia, leukopenia and thrombocytopenia is called option 1 pancytopenia, option 2 megaloblastic anemia, option 3 hemolytic anemia, option 4 sickle cell anemia. The right answer is option 1, pancytopenia. Simultaneous presence of anemia, leukopenia and thrombocytopenia is called as pancytopenia. Today we are winding up. You can watch the previous videos from playlist. And if you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe the channel. And stay tuned for more questions. Thank you.